So, the man that made Leden, Leden, Sky, finally released, well not finally, but he released a new, the new part of update 5, part 2. So let's jump right into it. It's October 21st, 2005 in northwestern Poland. My name is Kyle Anders, I'm briefly part of it. Well, that goes really fast. After my brother was almost executed as well as various reasons besides, I I and my squad decided to desert and flee to Poland to escape the US military's retribution, aiming to shelter ourselves in the city I personally lived in. Despite all my best efforts, I ultimately failed to destroy what's been enslaving it, the tower. We've come to find out anyone who tries to enter our or exit the 40 kilometer radius of the tower's barrier always suffers a horrid and agonizing death. Initially unaware of this barrier, we unknowingly managed to barely pass through it with our aircraft at extreme altitudes. However, the barrier still inflicted critical malfunctions and sent us screeching towards the dirt. Interesting. Me and my brother Felix and my friends Eddie and Chris ended up being just lucky enough to have survived the crash. But our pilot and friend Sam, he's dead. Okay. I would be dead alongside him if it wasn't for my squad mates and my girlfriend Joanna risking themselves to rescue me from the wreckage. Right after I have recovered, we try to destroy the tower knowing that its barrier won't let us out and we are all trapped here. Our makeshift operation. There is no escaping this. The barrier is changing people, turns them into monsters. I need to find Chris and the others, prepare ourselves and get a proper plan. I'd call it. But every second we waste, it's only been getting worse here. So let's go. This feels and looks way different than part one. God damn. The healing is also different now. You don't press Q anymore, you just pick up the things. I personally don't really like this type of dialogue, but it's alright. Hmm, what's inside here? Let's just go outside, shall we? I still like the combat of this game. And the gore is really good. Though I wish he already would um, put a audio editor or just have in this game because it's really annoying go to the volume and uh, change it there. Oh, 
stand up. Holy shit. That's a really, really big suppressor. God damn. How do I even use one? some help. A shame he removed that healing system. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But I kinda like that, but I do know that he wants to make this, because I'm in his Discord. Did he want to make it? One, he wanted to make it fast paced. So I guess by removing that system he just wants to make it faster. I can understand that. Interesting. house I guess no we're not he changed the bags they look pretty nice Getting a shock up. Finally, I can see our house. Well, this is not it. The next day, this set of cutscenes isn't finished yet, it will appear later. Not another nightmare. Just like in the first version. Oh damn, he changed that screen up real It looks way better too now. I did play this part before. I've played this before, but I just forgot a lot. But I still want to show it to you guys.
I really hate that part. Or the enemy. again obviously as always no for real it's something just tell me right it was nothing really honey don't get me worried chill out sweetie I'm fine one hour later are you ready let's find Chris first stay close to me though Engage first, unless you're really right, cool. Interesting. I like these cuts. It's really n well done. He also changed it uh, that um, normally if an enemy was coming close you would hear it, you know, he would say, hey, uh, maybe that was from update 4. Damn. shouldn't be wasting so many bullets. I do feel like he shouldn't have made this so unlimited ammo. Oh, oh, oh. 
lot of bandits with um with pipes. Kinda weird. Oof. Interesting. The game doesn't feel as hard as when you needed to heal for some reason. Maybe I'm just rambling. And go. He's also speaking Polish now, I think. Ooh, damn. There we go. Nice. Oh, that was nice. Honestly, this is such a cool game. I can't wait for this fully released. The fuck? Whoa. Got him. He almost got me there. I also like these really small details. It's really cool. And the, env the environment looks way better now than in the first part, I think. Oh no, I'm not. I don't have that much of a good eye to spot all the different things. And I just simply forgot the rest. Part 1. Got it. So a new part. Now he's in this mode. I haven't read enough lore of this game to know everything. I probably, I probably should start reading the lore of this game. Since I heard he's done a pretty good job. Set piece down a few minutes ago. I thought that was Russian. I guess 
he's stuck. I feel like there's an automatic mode on this gun. Oh. So pressing Q enables this gamer mode. Okay, so I'll have to use the door. Uh, that's alright. It's pretty interesting to see that his gamer mode. Because he, he did have this in update 4, I think, and earlier. But, um. Got it. He, uh. It now actually has me, I think. Because I don't remember seeing any perks for his gamer mode. In the earlier game, here you that on. like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.